Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D9, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shh. Uh, check it out, man. Uh, I had some messages <laughs> about um, me going off the other day or whatever. And I don't consider that's going off. That's just what I do. But I guess without saying it in a, in a sense of... Uh, you know, I wouldn't even say anger, just sort of fed up with the American bully game. I will I will re I will restate what what it is that I was saying in a more calm and efficient way. And this is I mean, and this is what it boils down to. What it boils down to is quite simply this. The American bully as a breed, along with the French Bulldog, along with the English Bulldog. Are, uh, are breeds that are in danger in a lot of ways. And the sad thing is that, especially in the American bully world, you have people who are accredited, and I call them out by name at times, some people who don't deserve any credit and they don't even need to be mentioned. And you have too many jokers looking for fame and looking for everything and the focus is just not on the dogs. You know, the truth of the matter is, is that, like I say, my page has always been about dogs. My page has always been, in general, about the health and the well-being of the dogs. The topics that I'm willing to discuss and I want to discuss is the health and the well-being of the dogs. Now, of course, we get into all kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, this is what this page has been based off of. You go back now, what is it, 13 years and uh, <clears throat> 12 years. And it's always been the same. You know, I'm actually going to re uh, start putting up some of the old ones just to show you all. You know, you go back to uh, Bully Rant 1, 2, 3. And I was talking about the health of the dogs and the uh, situations with the dogs. Especially, I think 8 is a good one. But... The funniest thing is, is that me doing this, and and that's my uh, being naive. I always thought that at some point in time, with me doing this the way that I'm doing it, that you would get <clears throat> some kind of support from certain people. And I'm not talking about supporting me. I'm talking about supporting the breed. So when you have the big names, so-called, you know, in in this in this thing, big names like myself, of course, like a Dave Wilson, of course, you know, like a Oscar Gomez or um, let's say Marco Suarez. Um, even if y'all want to say some of those other guys who supposed to be big names, but that's all, uh, whatever. Y'all know how irritated I get with that. You would you would you would hope that the the um the tone of the the conversation would always go to the health of the dogs, and the one thing that's frustrating in in most instances, in a lot of instances for me, is I am of course the most outspoken one when it comes to this health stuff, but the conversation is never about the health of the dogs. You know, never. You know, and for me it is, but it's never a, a situation of the health. And that's what leads to frustration because I'm serious about the dogs. As I tell y'all a million times, buy your dogs from whoever you want to. I could give two fucks about that. That doesn't, whatever, you know, buy your dogs from whoever you want to buy your dogs from. But make healthy dogs, buy healthy dogs, do something that is going to put the breed in a better position. You know, this whole narrative of these dudes just thinking it's a competition for sales or this or that or the other is, uh, is, you know, screwed up. And then people wonder why, you know, some uh, I got a million messages. Oh, man, Ron is an old man. Why did you go off on Ron? And this is, look, um, first of all, uh, let me clear this part up. I don't have a personal issue with Ron. Don't speak my name. I don't care how old you are. Don't speak my name and don't lie. You know what I mean? And then we won't have a problem, you know? And the, and the reason why I took that tone with Ron is because I've always shown Ron respect. I've always spoken highly on Ron. Even when, and Ron, you'll know what I'm talking about. Even when a certain head of the ABKC said some things about situations with you, 
that wanted to be put on blast, I kept my mouth shut. You know what I mean? The whole thing. You know, Dave Wilson, you'll know who I'm talk what I'm talking about. And I'll just leave it at that. Y'all, like I told y'all, I don't get off into personal issues or whatever. But when there were situations, very touchy situations involving this man, I actually went to battle and said, nah, Dave, you're wrong. Shut that shit down. And this was personal conversations that me and Dave had. You know, so I've always had his back on things. Not even being the greatest of friends with him or, you know, we just know each other from the dog world. So that when you come out and you talk about, oh, your dog, his dogs look bad and I don't know. And you taking shots. Ron, me and you ain't never had no beef, so don't make it about no beef. Because, it, you know, it, it it's not that situation. The bottom line is, <clears throat> is that from a real standpoint, Ron Ramos himself is a legendary dog man in this game. Papa Pitt. A guy that even when when I was young, he was Ron was still an older dude, you know. So people always looked up for Ron for his knowledge of the breed and everything like that. So when you turn around and now all of a sudden you're, do, you know, I had people on the post that talked about how he used to kick dogs out of the ring for being too extreme and talk about how the dog was supposed to be built. And he given education shit that I love to hear, you know, about how the shoulder set, the way the dog is supposed to breathe. I mean, Ron would go into detail. Then you turn around and you're breeding and supporting somebody like Bashar and Muscle Tone, knowing all the issues that's coming around there, you know, to much to, to whom much is given much is required so people look up to this individual as somebody who's very very knowledgeable which he is someone who's a very respected dog man over the years which he is but now all of a sudden you're telling breeders to you know what i mean not in a telling fashion but by what you're doing it's okay to breed unhealthy dogs although a lot of your dogs look good we know about the issues that come behind the bloods and the type of dogs that you're using. We know that. We know that to be factual. So when we say something like that, we get all offended. And that's all I said. Those dogs, and I'll give you all the direct quotes so nobody is, is confused about this. When when Ron was brought up to me, it was on a live, and I said, ah, yeah, he seemed to be going in a different direction, doing some shit that I don't agree with. That was it. Everybody who knows me know I don't agree with what Bashar does. I mean, we've seen the videos. We've seen the conditions of the dogs. We know that he's mixing dogs for a fact. We know about all of the DNA testing and all of the lying. We see the way his dogs, you know, not just are kept, but we see his dogs having to be iced down at at shows. And we we know that we know the muscle tone story. It's nothing to be. You know, it's not, it's not a big debate. So, yes, I'm not going to agree with anybody, including Dave, you know what I mean, saying that this is what we should be doing. And then turn around and talk about, well, it's a shame that the way the dogs is uh, today. And I'm talking about Dave now. Well, you, you know, people need to bring better dogs to the ring. Well, if you're one of the leading people in this community, but you're breeding bullshit dogs, you're going against stuff that you know. And this this includes Ron dave and several other people you know that this is not a healthy thing for the dogs you know that too much mass on a dog's frame will cause the frame to break down will cause the organs to break down uh it's a way higher risk of the dog having um you know issues with his breathing and different things and basically ultimately a lower quality of life and a shorter life why are you promoting this if if, if you are people who this breed looks up to when you have other individuals and some that shouldn't even be getting a listen a bit of credit at all because if you listen to what they say you can tell they don't know shit they just happen to come up on a, a on a decent dog but you should never promote breeding a dog that has heart murmurs or any kind of breathing issues. That, uh, across the whole entire dog world, that is a huge no-no. You don't do that because it equals death and low quality of life in the dog. So to tell people, oh yeah, if the dog got a heart murmur, you can breed it, just try to breed it to a dog that don't have a heart murmur. Or if the dog has, uh, you know, elongated palates, oh go ahead, and, and literally, we've heard this, Breed two dogs with elongated palates together, and yeah, if, if they come out like that, you just have to have the surgery. This is this is this is one of the reasons why veterinarians are canceling the breed. 
This is one of the reasons why the breed is being banned, you know, in certain countries and certain cities. The breed has already been banned in the United States and people are not even paying attention to that. We've gotten to this point to where we have given great ammunition to anybody who does not like these dogs to get rid of these dogs. This is my problem. Trust me, it's not a personal beef with Ron. You know what I mean? God bless the dude. Hopefully, you know, everything works out in his in his life and he keeps on doing his thing. It's not a personal, it's a disagreement. But when you lie and talk about, oh, your dogs are not in good condition, it's always that story. Oh, the dogs aren't. Yeah, you might not like that I don't keep my dogs overweight. That's cool. I don't like my dogs to be overweight. But every event, I go to tons of events. Y'all see on these pages. People always jumping on the pages. Oh, yeah, I went to his house and I seen his dogs. Or I did my breeding in person. Or I seen him at this show. Or I seen him. A lot of the pictures y'all see is me out at events. Stop trying to make it about me and make it about what I say. I don't care if none of those dudes like me. You know, and I said it on the video, I ain't going to do shit. It's not that serious. Keep it about the topic. And the topic is, is don't try to act like that my dog lived to be one of the older living dogs in the whole entire breed. And all of my dogs live a long time, but they're not taken care of. Y'all done had this hate banner for now, what, over a decade. And yet and still, it's no pictures of my dogs all fucked up. I'm 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 not hiding from people. I go out to events, not y'all events, but it's a reason why Denzel was the first three times champion ever. It's a reason why even when the ABKC invited me out to give me a Legends Awards and different awards, and I'll post the pictures if y'all think I'm lying, well after Denzel was retired, it's pictures of him with the brother from Bullypedia where they gave him the Bullypedia Award. He was invited to, uh, as a matter of fact, the guy who was on there with Dave, Rolando Mata, went to went to that, that particular show and was given a Legends Award at that, out taking pictures with kids and different things like that. Uh, you know what I mean? I've always went to show so i don't really care what these people have to say my dogs live i keep them on a leaner diet at times it's the it's the right way to do you're not showing i'd rather keep you at a healthy weight than to have you overweight and dying but we never ask the questions about all these superstar dogs that just come up disappearing at young ages we never see them again you know what i mean we never see them again y'all never talk about the high ass rears in the ring and the dogs that barely have rear end movement because their their hips are so stiff, torn CCLs, uh, straight stifles. You never talk about that, knowing that that causes the dog pain and issues. It's never, and y'all actually give those dogs ribbons and, and that, that includes the great judge, Ron Ramos. I've seen you give dogs ribbons who have horrible uh, uh, rear end assembly and have, um, and like I said, I've seen Mr. Beans literally, and, I, and I'm, I'm just talking freely now, so I don't care who gets offended, but I've seen Mr. Beans literally at a nationals advance. Now he didn't win. But he was in the grand champion class. The class was so big that they had to break it down, compete. The dogs out of these ones win, and they go to the next level. I seen Mr. Beans, who you already know, high rear, overdone, you know what I'm saying? Looks like a bulldog. But he's getting iced down because he's overheating. Well, he's, I don't even call it overheating. That's a whole different topic. But getting iced down and then goes back in the ring, and they advance the dog. I'm going to tell you all, and I tell you all this right hand to the Lord. <laughs> Y'all know I don't play about my God. I was standing with Oscar Gomez and Big Val when it happened. And literally the whole, because I bought a WBA thing, the whole section, when they seen uh, Mr. Beans advance in that class, the whole, everybody turned like, what the fuck just happened? Because some very high quality dogs didn't advance. The judge on that day was Ron Ramos. Supposedly, the story was is this was the reason that he was, you know, do y'all remember the controversy about, oh, Ron's retiring, he's going to spend time with his family. And then the next week, he was judging for somebody else. The, the ABKC had made a whole video attributing to him. Dave called me after that, <laughs> after that, and, and laid into Ron. But the scandal was supposed to be because they were supposedly forcing Ron to pick dogs and different shit like that or trying to control the ring. All this scandal. And we're not talking about the conditions of what y'all are promoting. This is what I'm saying. 
Stop trying to make me your scandal when y'all got enough scandal to talk about. And what y'all doing is y'all continuously promoting the shit that we see. The reason that we see extreme dogs like Cash who died, and I'm always bringing up that dog, yes. Cash who died after making a promotional video with Bashar, you know what I mean? Choking on his own vomit in the bed with uh, in the bed with his uh, owner's uh, son, and they write a long story about it, talking about they want to reproduce that. The reason we see this, the reason we see this mentality, the reason we see all of these dogs dying at a young age, the reason why you see American bully videos now, and no dog can stand there with his mouth shut. You know, the reason why the dogs are dying at an early age, the reason why the, you know, the national veterinarian societies have decided that this is a, a main target and an issue with unhealthy breeding and animal cruelty. The reason why animal cruelty, um, you know, organizations are targeting the American bully. The reason why, and, and it's a different reason as to why the uh, go, uh, certain governments are targeting, but it's still the same thing. It still falls in the same class is that you have these so-called great dog men who are always worried about God gossip always worried about trying to stop the message from getting out that we need to do better so they try to you know come at me i've seen them come at other people who are putting out a good message and saying you know breed healthier breed to fix the temperament and all that what they're doing is is they are acting as if they don't know these issues and acting as if the other people have the problem but the funny part is and i still hold this openly I still hold this openly because you can't do two things and then come back and say that one is totally different. So I do, I, I, I do this openly. I will go on a live. I went on one with Bashar. Y'all know how that ended. I'll go on one with Dave Wilson. Dave, me and you can talk dogs. And we don't gotta get, we don't gotta get in it. We can really talk dogs. I'm opening this up. If you are if you are 100% in what you say, I have questions. I'm and it, it won't be no you already know David, me and you you already know. I ain't worried about no bullshit talk. I know you ain't going to do shit and you know I ain't trying to physically harm you. We on a fucking video, but if you want to talk dogs and y'all don't want to put on a show, you know Ron, I I go on a video with Ron. Because I have questions. I have questions as to about some of the dogs that you picked in the ring. I have questions as to why would you be uh, promoting a blood that even not me, but a lot of other people are saying you used to say this ain't American bully. You used to kick people out of the ring for extreme stuff. By the way, I do like some of the stuff that he's done with extreme dogs. I'll, I'll tell you all that much. The dogs look a lot better than what other people have done. But at the same time, though. Are y'all both going to tell me that y'all don't have the knowledge to understand that the extreme dog is overall healthy, especially Dave, when me, I mean, unhealthy, especially Dave, when me and you had this conversation, especially Dave, when me and you had the conversation about what is known to be medical fact that an overload of muscle or size, period, cannot be held on a frame because it is detrimental to the organs, the joints, the bones, the whole structure and anatomy of the dog. It is a well-proven fact that an animal, we're not even just talking about an, uh, a dog, an animal cannot have an overload of mass. So as we keep on talking about extreme, Dave, are you telling me you don't know this? Dave, you're not, you're not telling me that you didn't mean you didn't have a conversation about the issues with the rear ends and the way the rear ends is breaking down and it's causing shortness of life. Because believe it or not, we always talk about breathing, but the dogs who are unfortunate to make it along, <laughs> that long, a lot of them are being put down because their hips are going bad. They can't move anymore. They can't exercise anymore. Some of them, and I know this to be fact, because uh, I've dealt with a couple of these people and it's just nothing you can do. You know, but some of them have been put down because their hips are uh, are so bad that they just can't do anything anymore. And the next, you know, it was you going to do a hip replacement on a dog. So they put the dogs down. But these guys know about all of these conditions. They know about the, the huge issue with heart uh, with heart murmurs. They know about the huge issue with the breathing. You know, they know about these issues. And, and the bottom line is, is they they promote the shit. If y'all dudes want to sit here and tell me, and I and, I'm, and I, I I named Dave and Ron because those are those are two of the people lately who seem to have something to say, 
but all of them, you know what I mean? Like uh, certain people, and I won't even give him any shine, but he's not even worth my time to have a discussion with because he, he, he doesn't have real dog knowledge. I can post up some uh, some information to y'all where this dude's like, oh, I'm just trying to learn. I'm sort of new to this. I'm a new dog, man. I don't know why everybody's coming at me about my dog that can't breathe in. We can always post that, and that was less than a year ago. Now all of a sudden you're back to being a dog guy. Shut the fuck up and learn something. You know, but ultimately, when it comes to this whole community, it's just people need to do better. You don't have to like me. You don't have to uh, follow me. You don't have to do anything with me. But don't make it about me. Make it about the dogs. You know what I mean? Make it about breeding the right way. And if you're a registry or you happen to run a registry or whatever, you should be impl employing rules that's... Um, going to save the breed, going to make the breed better. Uh, one of those rules in particular should be definitely that a dog cannot be bred with horrible temperament, especially from a certain class. I've said this a million times. Uh, it needs to start being temperament testing more and more as around the country and around the world, people are losing their lives to these dogs. That should be important to you, Dave Wilson. That should be important to any of us. Children are losing their lives. Other people are losing their lives. That should be important to you, brother. But if, for whatever reason, it's not. You know, all you talk about is money. But you don't say money, but you, we know you're talking about money. Register with us. We're the only one. We're the original one. Register with us. Register with us. If y'all ain't figured out by now, register means money. Every time y'all register, it gets Dave more money. That's all he cares about. And I don't give a fuck what he says. I'll, I'll go on the thing, and I, I, I mean, I'll go live with him, and I'll have the same questions. And this is why he'll never go live with me. Why don't y'all ban more dogs? Why haven't y'all banned more people? Why is it that you didn't take issue when Bashar was brought up on those um, DNA testing issues? And if you try to lie, I'll get in touch with Nan and have Nan tell the story about what really happened. But it was already put out there. You know, y'all saw it. It was all over the internet. I talked to these people. He, he definitely did it you know it was not a problem at all i still i still have my uh inboxes where where i got the whole story you know even further in detail so why is it that these people are not being banned why no mandatory dna testing why no mandatory uh health testing you know you talk about being the greatest of this and that and the other and in your registry which is right now you have you're the number one <laughs> of all breeds <laughs> i mean of the american bully breed you're the number one you're the guy you literally have no one banned at all for misconduct but you're bragging about being go look at the ukc y'all if y'all think i'm lying look at the ukc and look into the a uh, akc and look at the amount of breeders that they have banned and look at what they've done to help clean up their breed. Look at the, some of the things that they've done to make sure that the dogs stay at a high level. Look into what they would do with some of these dogs. Look into their champions. Look at their champions and compare their champions and grand champions to what you see in the ABKC. And you tell me I'm lying. And you tell me that that's not a joke ass registry and that, you know, people, you know, it's obvious. Like I say, all of this shit is obvious. I'm just going on and on now but it's obvious it's obvious that abkc cares nothing about the american bully breed they care more about their money and you know i'm just making it clear it's not personal this shit is strictly business and this is about the business of saving the american bully the french bulldog and the american bulldog for more issues and educating the world i don't get paid for this but educating the world and educating uh people that it's a better way to do these dogs and not destroying 100 years of hard work in some cases just so that you think you can make a couple dollars Y'all see more <clears throat> y'all see more videos like this and y'all see more educational videos coming up. Until next time, much love.